I believe most people don't really appreciate, understand, and respect their market. I think I was gifted in one respect. I had great empathic appreciation and intrigue for the mind and the passion and drive of an entrepreneur. So I was very focused on trying to understand, examine, appreciate, explore uh, what drove them, their hopes, their dreams, their values, their definitions. And it gave me a much greater, I believe, empathic connection I believe that you have two paths you can take, the superficial one and the truly engaged one. And engagement, there's a mistake I think, Chris, when you say engagement, the normal reference definition is your audience engaging with you. I think the opposite is really uh, what you need. You got to be willing to engage in a really authentic way with them. And you can't do that just throwing crap out. If you really take the time to now study isn't really the right word because study could be superficial to immerse yourself in, in a, a very deeply connected exploration and examination of the market you serve. And again, hopes, dreams, values, drives, goals, references, two things happen. You'll be able to relate to them in such an authentic way. And that authenticity will bring three or four advantages. It'll bring much more response, whether it's leads or initial uh, purchases, it'll shorten the timeline, it'll, uh, it'll build rapid and more immediate trust, and it'll, it'll uh, It'll make people gain more out of what they buy from you. You have to have a true and authentic desire to be deeply and permanently connected to your market. One of the things we uh, defined in the strategy, pardon me, the strategy of preeminence is you want to be their most trusted advisor in whatever the category you serve them in for life.